Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back. Hello, advanced students. How are you doing? Welcome to day three. I hope everything is mo moving along smoothly now. We should be rolling along, no problem. We're up and running. I hope everything's going well for you at home and that you're following the material without too much trouble. Remember, this show is designed for you to help you with the content that you can see on Aprende Inglés TV. Yesterday, I had a special guest with me, Mario, and uh, he was so good that I've invited him back. I said, Mario, you know, you, you, you did a great job. Would you please come back one more time? So, ladies and gentlemen, Mario, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Hello. I'm, I'm glad to be back. Good. Well, I'm glad to have you. Now, do you think the students are keeping up with you? Because you're pretty good. I'm sure that the students at home are keeping up with me. I hope so. I hope so. I hope you're keeping up with, with Mario and me. They should. Uh, they, they should be. And, uh, and following the material again in the student guide. So here we are. We're going to do a little review. As always, we're going to start with a review of what we saw yesterday in the last class. Okay? So yesterday we saw so that and such a that. So we saw the structure, uh, and it's, it's such an important structure that we'll practice it again. Right? It's so important that we'll practice it again. So remember, we had the subject, verb, So, adjective, that. The phone is so expensive that no one will buy it. Are there new phones on the market uh, that phones. you think are, are so expensive that no one will buy them? The new iPhone? Is it, 3GS, is, is it so, ex so expensive that... <laughs> <laughs> that uh, so expensive that you won't buy it? I won't buy it. Yeah, okay, okay. And, uh, and then we have the... Subject, verb, such a, adjective, noun, that. It's such an expensive phone that Mario won't buy it. It's such an expensive phone that I won't buy it. Okay, let's practice this with a little bit of translation. Are you ready, Mario? Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Fue una paella tan buena que comí todo. It was such a, with such. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, whatever you think is best. It's a direct translation. Fue una it paella was, tan buena. Okay, okay, yes. It was such a paella. A good, uh -huh. It was such a good paella yes. that we ate it all. Que comí todo. Ah, that, uh, that I ate it all. Now, what I've heard, I've, I just heard you say that. That. Ah, there we go. So what's the trick, Mario, to pronouncing that? You have to stick your tongue yeah. to your your teeth through you have to stick out your tongue uh, yeah through through, through, your through your teeth through your teeth through your teeth mario can see my tongue through my teeth right yes. so stick out your tongue i recommend that what you do is you stand in the mirror and you say this that these those other then their mother asked them right mario and you have to see your tongue and you have to see your tongue every time On every one of those words, if you, if you stick your tongue out between your teeth, you will pronounce the TH properly. Otherwise, it'll sound like a D, okay? So, la paella fue tan buena que comí todo. The paella was so good that I ate it all. Good, okay. Hace un día tan caloroso que no quiero hacer nada. It's such a hot day. That I want, I don't want to do anything. Yeah. It's such a hot day that I don't want to do anything. It's such a hot day that I don't want to do anything. Good. At home. Fue una película tan mala que me fui. It was such a bad movie that I left. Left. It was such a bad movie that I left. La película fue tan mala que me fui. The movie was so bad that I left. That I left. All right. Did you get five out of five at home? Did you get all five? I hope so. 
Of course they did. Of course they did. Yeah, they're good. They're the advanced students, right? Yes. No problem for the advanced students. The cream of the crop. <laughs> right? You know that expression? The cream of the, the crop. Have you ever heard that? The cream of the crop. La creme de la creme. La creme de la creme. In Sp- <laughs> yeah, well, they, yeah they, they, you say the cream of the cream, but we say the cream of the crop. Yeah, the best of the best, right? Okay. So I hope you did well because we're going to move on now. Expression of the day. Boom, boom. That's right. You heard it. Our expression of the day. We're warming up here with the expression of the day. It's not so difficult. It's not so difficult. So. It's as long as. You love me. <laughs> as long as you love me. Is that the a song? Backstreet Boys. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's, not, that's not what I had in mind. <laughs> Anyhow, so si- siempre que. Right? Siempre que, as long as. Okay, a little translation here. Lo harán siempre que les respaldes. They'll do it as long as you back them up. Yeah, yeah, they'll do it as long as you back them up. I'll keep teaching as long as you keep listening at home. Okay? Are you listening? Let's make a deal. I'll keep teaching as long as you keep listening. Is that a good deal, Mario? Yes, it is. Well, actually, the problem is we do have to stop eventually because there's going to be another show after this. But other than that, I'll keep teaching as long as they keep listening. You'll keep learning as long as you keep paying attention at home, right? The, as long as you keep working. As long as, long as they keep, yeah. As long as I keep speaking and they keep listening, they'll keep learning. Right, Mario? Yes. Okay, okay. Let's move on. Should we move on? Yes, we should. Okay, so here we are in your student guide following along in class 3.2 where we're going to look at some negative questions. Now, we've done this before with the verb to be, but now we're going to practice with other verbs, okay? So I'll tell you something negative and you will ask me why, okay? Remember to answer all the questions out loud at home. Ready? I don't like wearing ties. Why don't you like wearing ties? Why don't you like wearing ties? I don't I don't know his name. Why don't you know his name? Why don't put a little more intonation in Why that. don't you know his name? Yeah, why don't you know his name? Because I've never met him. I've never met him. They don't come here very often. Why don't they come here very often? Okay, good. Time now for a little pronunciation. What? That's right, pronunciation. I want to focus on this very, very common word, don't. 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 Because I hear a lot of people say, don't. Don't. And I get a headache when I hear people say that. It bothers me, Mario. (laughs) It bothers me. So please don't say that. Please say don't. 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 don't." With a little you. With a little you in there. Exactly. A little, little, little you. Okay? I want to hear that you don't. Don't. We do, please do not say don't. I, I don't even like repeating it, the, the, the mistake, because maybe someone will get used to it or something. I'm His worried. face is changing. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, so don't, don't, don't. Let's don't. Say, say, say it three times for me, Mary. Don't, don't, don't. Good. All right. So the sound is the same as a sound that appears in one of my favorite things, donuts. Donuts. <laughs> donuts. Do you like donuts? Yes, I do. <laughs> do you like donuts? From Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. I like donuts. I like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm Canadian, and Canadians love donuts. That's a generalization, but I think mm-hmm. most Canadians do like donuts. Donuts. The simple ones or? Don't. S- sorry? Well, or with chocolate or? Chocolate. 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 Uh, I like them all, Mario. Mm. I'm, d- I'm a donut man. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I like donuts. <laughs> yeah. I don't trust people who don't like donuts. So think about that sound, Okay. Not don, but don't, don't. Okay, so let's look at some more examples again out loud at home. Let's take a look at a few examples. Uh, I'm not happy, Mario. You are not happy. Ask me why. Why aren't you happy? Because I'm not rich. Why aren't you rich? Because I don't have any money. Why don't you have any money? Sorry? Why don't, why don't you have any money? Why don't you have any money? Why don't you have any money? Because because I, it's not easy for me to earn money. Why isn't it easy for you to, in, to earn money? Because I don't have a source of income. Why don't you have a source of income? Good, a source of income, so right? Un fuente, source of income. Right? A source of income. Because I don't have a job. Why don't you have a job? 
Because I can't find a job. Why can't you find a job? Because nobody wants to hire me. Because nobody wants. Yeah, because nobody wants to hire me. <laughs> why does nobody want? Why why does anybody why doesn't anybody want to hire you? Yeah, repeat that one. Why doesn't anybody want to hire you? Yeah, why doesn't anybody why doesn't anybody want to hire you? Say say it again, Mario. Why doesn't anybody want to hire you? Hire, hire. Hire you. Why doesn't anybody want to hire you? Hire you. Again. Why doesn't anybody want to hire you? Good, because I'm not qualified. Why aren't you qualified? Aren't. One one syllable, remember? Why aren't you qualified? Okay, and at home, why why aren't you qualified? Because I don't know how to do anything. Why don't you know how to do anything? No, how, how. How. Like, uh, como los indios. Like, <laughs> how. Like, how. Sitting bull. Yeah, sitting bull. How. Because I don't know how to do anything. Why don't you know how to do anything? Because I never learned how to do anything. Because I never learned. Why yeah. do... Why... Why don't you ever learn how to well, do anything? Well, I never anything? learned in the past. Ah. Why? Why didn't you ever learn how to do learn how to do anything? Yeah. Well, why didn't you learn how to do anything? Yeah. Why didn't you learn how to do anything? Yeah. Why didn't you learn how to do anything? Okay. Because I uh, because I didn't go to school. Why didn't you Why didn't you go to school? Sorry. Why didn't you go to school? Why didn't you go to school? Because I didn't have the opportunity to go. Why didn't you have the opportunity to go? Because I didn't have time. Why didn't you have time? Good. Okay, at home, are you following? We're picking up the pace here for the advanced students. I hope you're following along because I didn't have time. So ask me, Kyle, why didn't you have time? Kyle, why didn't you have time? Because I had to work. Why did you have to work? Yeah, so here, this, this was actually affirmative. Why, yeah. did, why did you have to work? Because my father couldn't work. Why couldn't your father work? Because he couldn't find a job. Why couldn't he <laughs> find a job? <laughs> Because nobody wanted to hire him. <laughs> why does? Why didn't anybody want to hire him? Nice. Good job, Mario. I hope you followed that drill at home. Mario was picking up the pace. Getting a little bit challenging there. Uh, he, did, he did very well. I hope you followed that at home without any problems. Let's move on. Vocabulary of the day. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Bzz, Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> Jeez. The laser. I love, I love that laser sound. Do you like that? Laser, mm. yes. Vencer. Oh, to defeat. To defeat. To defeat. To defeat. This is interesting. We have the verb to defeat. And what, what else could we say? Is this basically the same oh, as to, to defeat? Beat. To beat. Exactly. What's the difference between beat and win? Oof. To beat somebody is more than to win somebody. You can't. Well, you can't win somebody. Remember, you beat your opponent yeah. and you win you the. You win the match. Yeah, you win the match or you win the game. So let's imagine that two. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a football reference because everyone else does. I'm gonna make an ice hockey reference because <laughs> that's what I do. So m the Montreal Canadiens, my favorite hockey team, and the Toronto Maple Leafs are playing, and. Imagine Montreal wins the game. They beat Toronto, Toronto, but they win the game. They win the match. Uh, British people tend to say match, and American people tend to say game. Game, yeah, yeah. Like field or uh, pitch. Pitch. Exactly. Exactly. I would say a, a soccer field, and they'd say a football pitch. Right. Sure. So to defeat Benfer, uh, facilitar. To enable or to, to facilitate? Facilitate. Facilitate. Again? To facilitate. Facilitate. Yes, yes. Do you think this radio show will facilitate uh, the learning of, so of, of will the will facilitate their learning. The, yeah, their learning. Absolutely. Okay. Hierro. Iron. 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 Like to iron. To iron. Yes. Also, planchar is the verb to iron. Do you like ironing? Mario, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I, li I like an I like asking questions where I already know the answer. <laughs> do you like ironing, Mario? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Planchar to 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 iron the verb to iron, but then hierro is also iron. Yeah, okay. Iron, iron. Okay. Uh, modestia. 
Modest, Modest, sorry, modestia or modestia? Mo- modestia. Modestia, sorry, yes. Modestia with my proper accent <laughs> there. Modesty. 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 Okay, modest again? Modesty. Good, and at home? Always, siempre en voz alta en casa. Modesty, right? Very good. Uh, recreación? Recreation. Rec- recreation. Rec- recreation. 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 Da, 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 da. Recreation. Recreation. Good. Okay, okay. English is easy, isn't it? Recreation. It's almost the same. But I think the translation, the the best translation is recreo. 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 No? Oh, oh. Recreation. Yeah, like activities, yeah. Recre- you know, it's like sports activities that you do. Uh, golf is a recreational activity, you know, for for example. Okay? Okay, recreation. Let's go. Oh, oh, another thing. I have to mention recreation, not rrr. No, no rolling R's there. No rolling <laughs> R's allowed, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at a few more negative questions, this time with the auxiliary verb, okay? So, uh, so let's go. I can't go 48 hours without eating. Ask me. You can't? Ask Sorry? me why. I can't go 48 hours without eating. Why can't you go 48 hours without eating? Okay. I can't swim like Michael Phelps. Why can't you swim like Michael Phelps? <laughs> because he's too he's too fast. Why can't you swim like Michael Phelps? Mm. Okay. Uh, I can't sing like Manolo Escobar. <laughs> Why can't you sing like Manolo Escobar? Yeah, like Mi, Mi Carro. It was his song, right, Mario? You know that one? Melo. What are they? They stole his car. That was yeah, the problem, they right? Stole, they stole his car. The problem with him is they stole his car. The poor guy. How, how does it go in Spanish? Mi carro me lo robaron. <laughs> nice. They stole my car, he said. Okay. Um, I, can't, I can't tell them apart. Why can't you tell them apart? Why can't you tell them apart? What, what does that mean, to tell apart? To tell, to tell somebody apart. Mm. Or With to this tell example, is, may, they might be twins or something like that because they are similar and you can't tell yeah. the difference. Distinguish the difference, right? Can you tell the difference between Coke and Pepsi? Can you tell them apart? I'm going to say yes, but I'm sure that I'm not able to tell... To tell them apart. Okay. All right. Okay. To, to, to tell them apart. To tell the difference. To distinguish them. Okay. All right. Very good. This class can't last all day. Ask me why. Why can't this class last all day? Well, Mario, this, can't last, this, this class can't last all day because we have to move on. We have to finish. And we have to let someone else come into the studio to do their show. But we will be back tomorrow okay, with more. We'll Thank you. Thanks, Mario. It's been a Thank pleasure. Thank you. And uh, thanks for tuning in at home. Good job. Keep following along. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for more. Okay. Keep studying. See you next time.